We are back now, 742. Our countdown to Tokyo. It's safe to say these Olympic Games are going to be unique, unlike any others. And of course, a lot of that is due to the pandemic, the new COVID cases at the Games. Savannah's right there in the middle of it. And we've been talking a little bit, SG, about the protocols, but how did it go down? How do you get tested along the way? Yeah, it's they have very strict protocols here. In a way, it's like stepping back in time, at least for those of us in our country. You know, at the height of the pandemic, we remember the washing of the hands, the mask wearing, all of that. It's just like that here. It's really locked down here in Tokyo. Before you even come, you have to take two tests uh, at about 96 hours and 72 hours before you go. You land, you're tested again at the airport. Then you have to test the first three days. Every single day you have to submit a test. You have to submit your health status on an app. And then there's another app. It's a tracking app that'll tell you whether or not you've been exposed to anybody in your vicinity who has COVID. And it's also watching you and you have to install it to enter this country. So it's super strict and very locked down. SG, I mean, beyond the testing, how has it been so far? I mean, have you had a chance to take in Tokyo at all? Well, I have a really good view right here, a really beautiful <laughs> view from our balcony. It, the, the city looks tremendous. And it, I mean, it's so immaculate. The, the stadium, the venues are gorgeous. The opening ceremony, everybody's mm. getting ready for that three days from now. So there's still a lot of excitement. You do get that feeling like Tokyo threw a party and it's all dressed up, but not everybody's going to be able to come to the party. Yeah. Um, but, you know, here we're not allowed to leave. the. Ho- I forgot to tell you the, the mm. biggest part about the quarantine. You can't leave the hotel. You can go to your <laughs> workspace. Or you can go to the hotel. Oh. You can walk outside 15 minutes a day. That is it. So guess who started a little walking club inside the hotel all around, who? like in the ballrooms and stuff? Who's that? Natalie. Of course. Morales? Natalie Morales <laughs> is power walking us through. We went on a little walk. <laughs> all you do is run into people you know. It's NBC everywhere. And one of our producers, <laughs> Jen Long, who you guys know so yeah. well, she went out on her walk about today and found... You're going to love this, Hoda. What? A Hello Kitty vending machine. No. Where? This exists. What? So in the, in Japan, there are vending machines for everything and everywhere, but this is all Hello Kitty <laughs> stuff. I immediately regressed to the age of eight, and she just brought me right now on set. Look, I got to show what you guys. that? It came in this adorable little bag, and she brought oh. me this. Actually, it's for Vale. Oh, she says it's not for me. It's for my... It's for That's my cute. picture. Hey, and real but, quick, SG, what are you doing with your downtime? What are you doing with the other the time? What downtime? <laughs> I, you know, uh, Mike Tirico and I have been working so uh, hard right. along with the whole sports team to get ready for the opening ceremony, right. which is going to be really touching and really special. Oh. So I haven't had any t- downtime yet, except for I did do a little aerobics in my room, and of I course expect you, you to join me next week. Of course, you're the instructor. We count on it, Savannah. <laughs> thanks. Oh, Can't wait to see you there uh, over the weekend. Tell everyone hello. Right. Miss you guys. We'll yeah. check back in with you uh, in just a few moments. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.